All right. So we just did web pages. Uh, real quick, Nick added another web page. I thought it was worth a look. Uh, Macho Man Soundboard. Um, for any of you guys who are Randy Savage fans. All right. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right. So PTZ, there's two types of PTZs, PTZ in the system. There's advanced PTZ and there's standard PTZ. So actually for this video, we're going to connect to our main demo system. All right. So disconnect from the server. All right. Um, you guys do not have access to the demo system, I believe. So I'm going to connect to an older version. So what's going to happen is it's going to download the older version, which is our, our demo system still on version 3.2 because it's the released version. Um, and then it's going to relaunch the client. And I will add you guys as viewers so you can see what's going on. Give it a sec. It's going to restart. <laughs> Gotta let Windows have permission for the new software that's been installed. So now you can see I got Burbank PTZ here, right? So actually, just look over here, guys. I don't have time to add you. We'll just we'll just show you. So there's two types of PTZ. There's OnVIF PTZ, which we call standard PTZ, and that's just controlling cameras using OnVIF PTZ. And then there's advanced PTZ. And advanced PTZ is where we actually calibrate the cameras to allow you to zoom into specific parts just by drawing like little boxes or clicking your mouse, right? So this one here uh, is an advanced PTZ. So where I point and click on my mouse, you see there's a bunch of students out there walking right now. If I want to zoom in and see who's over there. I can draw a box on those students, right? And the camera will zoom into that box and show me what's going on over there. It looks like we got a lot of tourists, guys. All here for the prices right in downtown Burbank, staying at the Holiday Inn. So, so this is advanced PTZ. Really cool because you double click, for example, it'll zoom all the way out, right? You can zoom into like specific things that you're looking at in the screen. It's much faster than any joystick will ever be. So if you got customers out there who are trying to get you to use joysticks, show them this. Maybe challenge them to a, a PTZ off. See who can get the, who can see things faster. Um, advanced PTZ is really a nice feature. Um, let me see if we've got a standard PTZ in here as well. I believe we do. <laughs> There's Burbank PTZ. You know what? I'm gonna search. So it looks like maybe our advanced PT or our standard PTZ might be offline. Let's see. Yep, this one is also advanced in Taiwan. So we're looking at the Taipei office right now, actually. So if we zoom in down there, we just saw tourists in uh, in uh, California. Zoom out a little bit. Maybe we can see some tourists in Taipei. Maybe not. Looks like everybody's just getting to work. Still early morning over there, like 8 a.m. So maybe people are tired. Not seeing anybody. Oh, oh, oh! Lots of mopeds in Taiwan. So this is advanced PTZ. Uh, apparently, we do not have a standard PTZ up right now. But basically, this the way the standard the, the standard PTZ works. You go here, and then the only thing you can do is kind of drag the camera around, right? And you can see there's latency because we're talking to Taiwan, right? So for me to hit something that I want to hit exactly. A little bit more difficult than if I just draw a square and look at those bicycles right so it just makes it a little bit easier just to zoom around so that's advanced PTZ standard PTZ is just drag and drop latency issues so you really want to use a camera with advanced PTZ uh, now how do you know which cameras have advanced PTZ it's a good question Nick thanks for asking You're welcome um, so if you go to ipvd.networkgraphics.com um, you will see a full list of all the manufacturers uh, that we support and all the devices that we support. And if you go to advanced uh, advanced search options here and you type on advanced PTZ, it will pull up every model of camera, PTZ camera, that has advanced PTZ functionality on it. Right. So before you plan your projects, take a look and make sure the PTZ cameras you have are using advanced PTZ. 
you can even click in here and we'll show you the most popular firmware. So this is a really cool tool to find compatible devices when you're planning a system. Or if you have a camera and it's not working the way you expect it, you can check here and see if it's got advanced PTZ support. So that's advanced PTZ and standard PTZ. Are there any questions? Any more questions, Nick? You don't have to ask a question. No, I'm just trying to figure out the, the right way to phrase it. No, I guess not. No questions from Nick. All right. Advanced PTZ versus standard PC. PTZ.